York Comic Con. New York Comic Con. It's time for Thwip, the, the Big, Big Marvel, Marvel Show. Show. Whoa, whoa, hey, I'm Ryan. I'm Lorraine, and this is Thwip, the Big Marvel Show, where we talk about all things New York Comic Con this week. Yes, so much news we had to write them buggers down. I almost cursed. This is a big one. We're going to start off with comics. First up, we announced the Deadpool the Duck series, written by uh, Stuart Moore, art by Jacopo Camagni. And we are getting a new America series, as in America Chavez. She's getting her own solo series because you guys wanted it. You're getting it. Totally. Uh, we announced Rich Rider returns in a new Nova series, co-written by Jeff Loveness and Ramon Perez, with art by Ramon Perez and Ian Herring. And it's been announced that one of my favorite characters from Runaways, Alex Wilder, is going to be heading over to Power Man and Iron Fist to cause some trouble. Yes. We announced that the original Thunderbolts creators Kurt Busiek and Mark Bagley reunite, and they're going to bring Jolt back with them. Oh, uh, and Squirrel Girl is getting a 25th anniversary Aww. issue. You guys, she grew up so fast. So fast. She's got a tail. Uh, we're going to go <laughs> on to, uh, we had movie news this week. Yeah. It sort of dropped right at the beginning of New York mm -hmm. Comic Con, so we're, we're bringing it in here. Yes. News for Marvel's Black Panther, iconic actor Forrest Whitaker is joining the cast as an elder statesman of Wakanda named Zuri. Yeah. Daniel Kaluuya will play T'Challa confident Wakabi. And Florence K uh, Kasumba will be reprising her role for Marvel's Captain America Civil War as the very cool Ayo, who is a member of the Dora Milaje. Did I say it right? Uh, yeah, sure. Sure, great. Yeah. Uh, she's so cool in that movie, you might remember she's the woman who steps to Black Widow, and you're like, what? Yes. Yeah, Winston Duke uh, plays M Mabaku, leader of a rival tribe in Wakanda. So lots of really cool stuff happening for Marvel's Black Panther. Oh, uh, and tons of animation Oh my news. God, yes. Uh, there is going to be a new series on Disney XD, Marvel's Spider-Man. There are going to be new shorts where we are working with Funko yep. to do this really cute short animation style. Yeah, we premiered uh, Where Monsters Dwell, which yes. is a Doctor Strange and Hulk team-up movie. It's just going to be really, really fun. And plus, uh, there's going to be a really cool crossover. Between, between the Guardians of the Galaxy and the Avengers. And me. No. Oh. You're not in it, Ryan. Uh, we'll see. They're still working on it. I'm, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's I'm already trying. done. Uh, they we, showed an episode. So. In, in the realm of Marvel games, we're going to have a big Doctor Strange crossover Wait, event. Is that why you're Doctor Strange? I'm in everything. I'm everywhere. Woo! My Ryan pinky is has got magic in it. <laughs> yeah. uh, in Marvel games, we're going to have uh, six games with lots and lots of Doctor Strange content. Check all those out. Uh, it's like Marvel Contest of Champions, Marvel Future Fight, Marvel Tsum Tsum, Marvel Puzzle Quest, Marvel Heroes 2016, and Marvel Avengers Academy. So much. Yeah! Yeah! That sounds amazing. And we had a crazy Marvel Netflix panel. You got to be there. Yes. And they just, like, tell us about it. Tell oh us gosh. about it. Oh my gosh. Share some of the glow with us. Yes. Ooh, the glowing, warming, glowing glow. Uh, all right, so we started off where showed off a ton of footage for Marvel's Iron Fist. The best part was the cast hadn't seen any of the footage yet, so they're out on stage. And whenever the footage is played, yeah. they come out and they crawl, and they, so they go and see the screens. It was really kind of cute, yeah. pretty great. And I know that a lot of the cast of Marvel's Iron Fist, like they finished the last episode shooting that morning at 10 a.m., so they've really been in a Netflix world. Yes, totally. Uh, and what else? Then we went from Marvel's Iron Fist to Marvel's Punisher. Yes, uh, which got three new characters announced. Yeah, yeah, we announced three new characters before the panel uh, started a couple days beforehand. Uh, we've got Ben Barnes, who joins the cast as Billy Russo, Frank Castle's best friend from his days in the Special Forces. We have Evan Moss Bachrock, who is going to be playing Micro, who used to be a former NSA analyst. Yes, and Amber Rose Riva, who joins as Diana Madani, a highly trained, sophisticated Homeland Security agent who is vexed by the Punisher, and I can't believe I said all those words correctly. Deal with it, Internet. <laughs> But that wasn't all. Oh, no. No, no, no. no because... John Bernthal came out to insane yeah. reaction from the crowd. John Bernthal came out and they announced that Deborah Ann Wall will reprise her role as Karen Page and be in Marvel's The Punisher series. I dig it so much. I love seeing those threads be shared in between the universes with Rosario Dawson, who's coming over as Claire Temple into Marvel's Iron yep. Fist, seeing Karen Page going over to Marvel's Punisher. It's a nice big shared universe, you guys. Totally, totally. Uh, so then... We thought what we were done. What else happened? No, we were thought we were happened? done. But what no. else happened? What else could? Finn Jones comes back out, and he's like, oh, we got more to do. He comes out, he brings Mike Coulter, Kristen Ritter, Charlie Cox. So you've got Daredevil, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, all on stage, The Defenders. The Defenders. But that's not all, no. right? We were like, you know what? 
well, let's kick it up a notch. What? Yeah, and they announced the Wait big for bad for the Defenders Wait will be played it. by Sigourney f***ing Weaver! Yeah! Oh my God. Yeah. What, I mean, what? Yeah. Amazing. What? 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 The play started chanting expletives that's, similar to what I just did yeah. because we're so excited, y'all. But you know what? That's not the only exciting thing we have in the show, Ryan, because you're about to show us some interviews. I am. You yeah, are. I talked to uh, Theo Rossi and Cheo Hudari Coker from, from Marvel's, Marvel's Luke, Luke Cage. Cage. Check, Check those out. out right now. What? Did you write the show or did, did you and the team write the show in the episodes with the music in mind? or did the, How did the, the music part be? Well, the music was kind of always a part of everything. And one of the things that I always, you know, thought about was, you know, the needle drops and what songs we were going to use mm -hmm. where. But then once Adrian and Ali came on, um, Adrian in particular said, as much as the needle drops are great, we can actually make music that will fit the show and the narrative perfectly. And the deeper that we got into the process, the more they did that. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, we have some really great needle drops. I mean, in particular, Bring the Ruckus was one that, it's funny, for that episode, we were going to use Mysteries of Chess Boxing, but then after Guillermo would film it, it was Guillermo and Tirsa Hackshaw. Tirsa was the one, she's so, really, she's so great with music placement. She said, Chess Box, we tried it, didn't work, but we tried something else, you know. And then she played it for me, and I was just watching the episode with that Bring the Ruckus. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I was just like, I knew right then that this was something special. Yeah. And um, that was the thing. I mean, I, like, I always had the Gangstar song titles. Those kind of happened before the, the writer's room started. But then as we kind of started writing and everything else, I mean, you know, everyone had something to say, and we just kind of collectively made sure that this, each of the episodes fit the others. And so sure. I think music's an important part, but we also have some really interesting story in it as well. Oh, of course, of course. Your portrayal of Shades, who is a classic, you know, yeah. Power Man and Iron Fist character, but still in the wider Marvel universe, a lot of people are gonna learn about him from your portrayal, yeah. I think. What, if any, characters or stories really went into how you developed that character? So what's really, what's so cool about these, you know, second, third tier characters, if you want to, is you create this thing and there's no kind of uh, expectation of what they should be like. It's really your incarnation of it. It's like, you know, what, what you bring is what people think. So for me, it was like, obviously I knew him from the 72 comics. I had, you know, but it was, di it's such a different time. You're bringing it to an updated version. <laughs> slightly different. It's slightly, it's slightly different. Just slightly. Not just in the <laughs> costumes and the dialogue, but just in the look and everything. So when you bring it into this really very realistic world, yeah. where superhero stuff is kind of an afterthought. For me, it was just, how can I make him, you know, not just the most menacing, but how can I make him where people care about him at the same time they're also fearful of him. So it's really cool in this world, and I'm really excited for people to see it, of what I was able to do and what Cheo, our showrunner, was able to kind of create. New York Comic Con has been way too cool, Ryan. Favorite moment of the con? Uh, probably being in the room for all the cool Marvel television stuff with Defenders, Iron Fist, Punisher. It was great. I think my favorite has been, I got to introduce the 25th anniversary of the Infinity Saga panel with Jim Starlin, and I got to hear all his cool Stan Lee stories. You can check the, all that stuff out, the stuff we talked about today, and the stuff that you didn't get to see over at marvel.com slash NYCC 2016, you guys, yes, and on sure. our YouTube page. Yeah, let us know what your favorite moments, your favorite announcements were from Marvel's uh, Comic-Con 2016 stuff. Use the hashtag MarvelQuip. I'm Lorraine. I'm Ryan. And this is Marvel. Your universe. Now get out. Thanks for watching Twip, the Big Marvel Show. If you like this, please like it, subscribe, and watch our last video. And the, the other videos down there. Ryan. What? Let's do more New York Comic Con. No, I gotta, I gotta sleep forever. Never.